Hi, the guys at Drobo here talking about hypervisor-based replication in a virtual environment. Something that's uh, really important to a lot of folks. And Eric, if you think about how the landscape has changed, you almost always chose a device that had replication built in. There's not, that's no longer the case. There's some advantages to choosing something that's not built into the storage. Right. If you go back a few decades, it was a very common thing to start offloading a lot of functionality from the server into the storage because the server is overloaded mm -hmm. and the storage had free cycles. You know, in virtualized environments, it's, it's now the opposite. The storage is, is very uh, overloaded and the server has some free cycles with big big processors and a lot of memory. Mm -hmm. And so, so doing replication in the, in the server makes sense again. Also, uh, what you're replicating nowadays is a virtual machine mm -hmm. and not just blocks in a LUN, and so you know, being able to replicate virtual machines intelligently from the server in the hypervisor you know, makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, I agree. When it comes to deploying some of these solutions, Matt, you don't have to find replication in your storage. In fact, it's abundant out there in the hypervisor and with some other complementary solutions to virtualization. What are some of those examples? Sure. So we have a lot of great choices. Uh, the first are going to be built into the hypervisor. So we have the replication appliance with VMware. We also have Replica within Hyper-V. But if we go to the third party, we have things like Veeam or maybe a Cronus VM Protect, all of which are going to provide a single interface to both your backups as well as replication simplifying administration. Right. And we talked about the demands on storage. Storage these days needs to be optimized for virtualization. So what are some of the things that Drobo's done to build that in so that the customer gets some benefit? Well, you know, a great feature we recently built into the storage is data where tiering, allowing you to take SSDs and hard disk drives and put them in the same chassis. And it, what it does, it gives you the both capacity and performance at the mm -hmm. same time. And it's in an affordable package, you know, which often comes in a, you know, from other vendors in a $50,000 plus solution. Right. Well, talking about both, if you need two storage devices that are exactly the same, that can cost a lot of money. With uh, hypervisor-based replication, Matt, you can actually have dissimilar storage devices, which can save you a lot and actually let you add replication to an environment you may already have. Sure. So while we are a storage company, we'd love to be your storage on both ends. Yeah. You know, maybe you currently have a SAN, or maybe you can't afford to buy two SANs. So by moving that outside of the storage, you can go ahead and utilize multiple vendors for each task. Right, and uh, if you have a SAN today, you can add to it. It doesn't have to be the same. I think that's one of the things that's been holding a lot of people back. We get a lot of live chat on that, questions how I go about doing that. So you don't need replication in your storage device anymore. For more information on the different options that you have and how to deploy Drobo in those exact environments, we have detailed how-to guides of those on our website. Go to drobo.com slash solutions for more info.